Hello everybody, welcome to Law Enforcement Roleplay's YouTube channel. My name's CDA, uh, you may also know me on Steam as Razor S Edge. Today I'll be showing you how to modify textures on Enforcer Police Crime Action. As you can see right here on the screen, right in front of you, you'll see a modified map. Um, the game didn't come with street names uh, on the map already, so I decided to throw, throw a few in there. I'm almost complete with the downtown section, and then I obviously have the other six maps to go. So, let's get started for what y'all wanted to see. Let's learn how to modify Enforcer Police Crime Action. A couple things you're going to need is you're going to need Paint.net version 4.0.3. And you're also going to need Unity Assets Explorer. Let's go ahead and open this up. And it's going to be version 1.4 test. And it's going to be by Heyus. I will make sure to have a link to the version I use in the video description below. Okay? And that's basically all you need. Um, you can also use f uh, programs like GIMP. As you see, I got GIMP down here. Um, you can use programs like GIMP. However, for most of the texture files, the text DDS plugins don't really work that well. Um, Paint.net is the only thing I've found that consistently works with every te uh, texture file in the game. Right, so to get started we're going to open up uh, UAE and then make sure your settings match those here on the screen. Fix import and font fix need to be checked and convert text to DDS. Both these need to be checked down here. You can try playing around with other settings if you want but these settings have always worked for me. Next, you're going to hit Open Assets File. You're going to navigate to your Enforcer Data folder, and then you're going to see a bunch of .assets files. These hold all the game content, all the graphical information, sound, subtitles, you know, basically everything. All the meshes for the models, things like that. For this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and open up Shared Assets number 3. Once you open it up, you'll see that you have a lot of different files in here. Um, the .mat files we're not going to worry about. We're looking for the .tex. These are the files you can edit to, to change the graphical texture. For this one we're going to go ahead and do logo mvpd white .tex. There's two ways you can extract the files. You can extract them all at once or you can just extract one at a time. And For this tutorial I'm just going to show extract one at a time. Once the, your file or all your files are extracted, it'll say done. Just click OK, minimize it, and you'll see it's open, it created a folder with our texture in it. If we were to hit extract all, this folder would have all the files put in there out of the shared assets folder. And for smaller shared assets like three, it was, isn't bad, but if you try to do that on two or four, it'll really lag out and create a lot, take up a lot of space in your hard drive as it unpacks all those files at once. Next, we're just going to go into Paint, File, Open. We're going to open up the file we just downloaded. You'll notice it's been changed to .dds after we extracted it, and that's so we can open it and edit it. Once it's opened, you'll see it's upside down. Now, you can either flip it right side up and then edit it and then flip it back, or you can just, if you don't plan on keeping that layer, you know, just start working on a new layer and just forget about it. Go ahead and copy this. We'll just go over here. Go ahead and just paste this logo in really quick. And then we'll go ahead and delete that back layer. And then for this uh, tutorial, I'm just pasting in this logo really quick. But you can put anything you want in here. You can put in text, you know, pictures, paint it however you want, put in your design. Um, whenever you're done, though, you need to make sure you have only one layer. Either delete unneeded layers or merge them all down to one. Then you need to make sure it's in the same direction it was when you first opened the file. And since ours was up, this one was upside down, we're going to flip it back upside down. Now we're ready to save the file. Just going to go File, Save As, and then you're going to click on the file you originally opened, and yes, you want to replace it. Next, you're going to get this nice little box here. <clears throat> and this box is going to give you all these 
different settings you can change up here. And it's going to give you your total file size up at the top. To know which options to choose, you're going to go into UD Assets Explorer. And you're going to look in the type column. And for this one, it's DXT5. So now we know up here, DXT5 needs to be checked. Also, almost all files need to have generate maps checked. <clears throat> The most important thing though is that your file size is right. To know if your file size is right, you're going to just go to where it downloaded your file to, right click it and hit properties. And it's 170 kilobytes and up here we're at 170 kilobytes so it's the same file size. If the file sizes are off, it will break the shared asset file and your game will not work. So we know we're good to go. Some, not all files are going to be this easy. Some of them you'll have to choose one of these options. You'll have to play with buttons down here. Some of them, like the minimap for example, you have to uncheck generate maps. So a lot of it's trial and error. Once you're happy with the settings, just go ahead and hit OK and save it. Now that the file saved, we need to get it back into the game. So we're going to go back into UD Assets Explorer. <clears throat> and we're just going to right click the the file name and this time we're going to hit import this file from DDS. Now if there's an error or something it'll show you an, an error pop up on screen. In this case there was no error so we just hit OK and now we need to save the file. So let's go ahead and go into here. We're going to save over shared assets 3. It'll ask us if we're sure we're just going to hit yes. And again, some, some of these will take longer to save. If you're doing shared assets too, it would have took a lot longer for that file to save. Uh, now, anyways, once it's done saving, you hit OK. You just go right into Enforcer. <clears throat> if Enforcer's not loaded yet, you can go ahead and open it now. But if you've already got it loaded, you'll see we come in here and then nothing's changed. The file I edit is this up here. So we've got to force it to refresh the graphics really quick. Now once we're in here, we're just going to go ahead and just back right back out. And now that we're back out here, we're just going to turn right up and you'll see that now the logo is up on top and not the text that was on there before. You'll see that's, uh, um, that's how easy it is to pretty much change anything you want in the game. Um, some people might want to use this to maybe style it, the entire towns after towns that uh, they like, live in. Or as you'll see right here, is, um, I made for another member on Steam. You know, they might want to style it after their own police departments where they live or that they um, enjoy role playing after. So really the it's limitless on what you can kind of do here as far as changing the way the game looks.